I hate these things. <laughs> Day one, fingers crossed. We're back in Maryland for the three day muzzleloader hunt. Uh, got up this morning and it was snowing this morning. Um, so, snow, wet, rain, whatever. So we're a little bit late getting out because it was just wet. There was no point. Um, but we are headed out to scout, see how things have changed since the last time we were here, and uh, hopefully shoot a deer or two or three, whatever. But uh, water's a little bit higher, it looks like, since the last time we were here. Things are a little wetter. But uh, everything else seems the same. Last time we were here, we jumped a bunch up in this marshy area here. So I'm trying to sneak through it, but it is sticky. I got my waders on. The wind's right. I'm going to just keep moving up towards those pines. Hopefully I kick one and get a shot. If not, Andy's gone up there. He's setting up that way, so I'm, I'm hunting towards him. We'll see what happens. We are in our section, and uh, Matt has heard a bark. He's down this side of me. I'll show you in a little bit. He was walking out there and heard something, so um, I'm waiting. It's not the best wind, but I'll show you now. in this swamp here and I just shot at one but I don't know what happened it's so it's so wet and so marshy look at this that I can't even find a foot you know I can't find footprints or anything but then and everything looks the same so I've gone been back and forth like three times to look and see if I hit if there's any blood or anything. Um, Andy heard some in front of him at the other end of the swamp. And then I was came out and I walked into four of them bedded down and one stood up. I mean, I haven't missed anything. So I don't, I'm pretty, I mean, I feel good about the shot. But, he, but then there's that big puff of black powder smoke so you can't see anything. And then, um, so then all the ones I shot at ran towards Andy. And then he started coming. I said, well, come towards me. And he's sneaking this way. And then a whole bunch just ran by off to the south or off to the other direction. So I don't know what's going on, but um, it's, un it's just very bizarre. 
but I, I thought for sure when you shot something in this that it would leave at least leave like a like some bubbles when I walk there's bubbles there's nothing so now I got to go back to where I shot have Andy go and pretend he's the deer um I don't know it's all very you, you, every time something comes together when you do finally get a shot it is the last way you ever imagined it like I was walking into a spot where I thought I would set up and I looked and there's one standing and he beds down and then he stands up again when he sees me I'm like like what are the chances that's that's not how it's supposed to happen that's not what I'm prepared for and then I was uh, I don't know but right now I'm at that point where you're not even sure you got I gotta go back and figure everything out I gotta mark where I shot I got a piece of paper to go back and check that. I didn't want to take my, I didn't wear extra orange, so I didn't have anything to put on the tree. So I'm gonna go back and check where I shot. And then um, we're gonna have to fish around in the swamp, you know, and just do a, um, oh, it's a log, that was a dead animal. I was like, yay. We're just gonna have to do a, a circular pattern because literally, you can't track track anything, but there were three, and then when Andy came this way, I just saw two go back. So that's a good sign, maybe. Like I said, we may not use this footage because um, I don't know. But as you can see, this is the swamp. It is just the nastiest thing. Andy's sneaking up. I don't know if you can see him over there. Andy's seeing through it. Every time you step, it smells like farts. It's a great, it's a fun place, but um. I, I know, it's been a while since I shot something with a black powder and I forgot about that six seconds right when you pull the trigger where there's you can see nothing you just see a huge cloud of smoke so I didn't see any stumbling I didn't see anything and then it, it, there turns out right in the same thicket were four other four other birds four other deer so then there was just like a uh, tangle of bodies I don't know The landscape here just changes from like thick Phragmites to wide open um, forests. We've seen, I've seen four, five, six, we've seen seven today. Um, we, I say we, Andrew has not seen any. He's heard them, he keeps hearing them crying and squealing. He hasn't actually seen one. I, on the other hand, keep seeing them. And yes, I did shoot at one, and uh, I spent two hours, and I assume I missed. I shouldn't say assume, I 99.9%. Ridiculous. Andy's as streamlined as a trout. <laughs> we are off into the woods. Spot here. I'm just finger 
fingers crossed here that something happens. Let me give you a little look around. some and saw some in here yesterday, so let's hope that they're still around. There, uh, there is a little bit of ice, um, so I don't know if that might have driven them out of the, the, uh, marsh, but I'm not sure. So, uh, I will, uh, let you know if anything happens, or if I see anything in spot. I can shoot all the way out, I think, to the water. It's been, I don't know, two and a half, three hours now. Nothing. That's been going on for 15 minutes now. There's like 300 of these birds, 300 red-winged blackbirds in one tree. stuff online this crazy little system look he's on like a 12 by 12 platform he's got a rope and but it looks sketchy but apparently it's fine and it's a whole lot lighter than carrying my 25 pound stand which was just a backbreaker basically like a lineman crawling yourself up and down um I'm not sure I, Andy's doing this. I feel like it might be a young man's game. <laughs> and I've never actually saw, said that, thought of myself as an old man yet. But um, this is making me think I might be too old for it. So this bears repeating. <clears throat> when, I, when I got in my stand this morning, I had this light coat on and stuff and I was like, oh! I packed in my wool pants, my you know, my wool uh, overalls, all this stuff that's in the bag. It weighed an extra 20 pounds. Probably not that, but like 10, 15 pounds. This is so stupid. I should I should have just wore what I have on. And I just told Andy the same thing. And Andy was like, what? Yeah, I said the exact same thing. These stupid wool pants, they weigh so much. What do you even need them for? And about 45 minutes later, I was like, I love you wool pants. <laughs> It was walk, walking in, we were toasty, and then all of a sudden, uh, it just, it, the cold just settled in. I mean, it was, it, it still, the wind hasn't blown at all since five o'clock this morning, and it is cold. The ice out in front here has been getting more and more. Oh, really? Yeah, oh yeah, it's been growing. They, they don't, they said they don't like ice, so maybe that's where they are. That's what I wondered. They weren't out of here. See, now that's Andy's whole setup. I, I'm on the way out. I'm going to carry his setup because my setup sucks. <laughs> so heavy. But there's the reflections for you. Anytime you're sitting, no matter what, you're always, it doesn't matter if you brought in a sleeping bag, you're always freaking cold. Not next time. I'm hey. one of those heated vests and heated pants. Oh, I think I'm going to buy one of those heated car things. Battery that I carry. Hey, are you pretty happy that at the car I was like, yo, you want a stocking cap? <laughs> yes. That worked out good too. Oh, I have another one I was going to bring. All right. Well, we got to go figure out what we're going to do for the afternoon. This is, um, this is day two. Yesterday we saw, I saw a bunch. Andy, Andy still has not seen one. He's seen Fragmites uh, move and he's heard him bark. I have seen, yesterday I saw, I kicked one, then I saw four or five, then I shot, well I shot at the one, which I don't know what the deal with that is. 
and then then Andy was doing stuff and two more came by. So I've seen a bunch. Andy has seen Jack Squash. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so day two. There's gonna be a lot of this. I know some people complain. People come here and they just do a lot of in the marsh talking and not much. Well, that's because there's nothing else happening. This is not easy hunting. We never said it was easy. We never were under that delusion. But at the same time, we're still only so this is our this five, is our five days. Yeah, our fourth. No, this is our fourth day of doing this. And yesterday we got oh, snowed out. Yeah, because we, yes. did, we didn't. Um, we only did two the first time, so right? We're so, supposed yeah. to do three. So we're really. It's not like we we sucked no, that bad. Nothing up the tree. But all right. This, so hopefully we won't have to use all this blah 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 footage. <laughs> On the other hand, we have learned a ton. Um, obviously, we've figured out the secrets to uh, where you should sit here because every time I pick a tree and get up to it there's someone else's scratch marks on it. So you know someone else has been up that tree. That's true. There's a lot of people in here though. It must be at some but point. At some point. But stuff stays for years, so. All right, we're gonna have a, a Kool-Aid jammer and then we're gonna head on our way. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks Kool-Aid. <laughs> Thanks Kool-Aid man. You may wonder on our hunting adventures, do we go out to dinner or do anything nice for dinner? Yeah, we do. This came from the um, the sub store that has the best subs in town. I see. I got a chicken sandwich though. So we're just scarfing these here. Let me show you a little hotel trip that we picked up. Do not do it in any of our hotels. Got the old boot dryers working. Yeah. The guns, got all our gear ready for tomorrow morning. It is, uh, what time is it? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock, we, should be, we'll be, we should be in bed in about another 10 minutes. Probably walked about, uh, today's, by the way, today's day two. Uh, I probably walked uh, a million miles today. And uh, I only walked about back and forth, six miles. And then we sat, we each sat, I sat Four in the morning and four and three in the seven hours. It was so cold. Saw nothing. Heard about a million woodpeckers. Um, Andy has a big announcement. Andy, who has uh, you have a mayo in your beard over here. Get it. Looks like you blew a seal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Andrew has a big uh, announcement. What's I, I just gone. Yeah. Mm. I saw one today. Finally. Yeah. But it was um, on posted property, just over the line onto posted property. But I did see one, so I'm excited. Making progress. I know. One more day to close the deal. Yep. All right. So we're uh, just briefly. We're just, we're on our way out for the night. Gonna hit the shower first. Uh, finish boot drying. Got all our other gear. Trying over here in the thing. Um, yeah. We're never going to be invited into a nice motel ever again. Yeah, today's Friday, the last day of our hunt. Uh, I'm waiting for Andy. We are, it's harder and harder every morning to get going. Uh, we beat ourselves up pretty bad. But I feel good about today. Actually, I don't. I feel not good about it at all. I'm totally whatever. But I, uh, here's a, just a, another funny thing. This morning, it is... 39 degrees. Yesterday morning it was much colder. There's ice on the puddles, so it had to be below 32. But it's 39 degrees right now. So you're like, all right, that's almost 40. And then as the sun comes up, it's going to get better. And I just looked at the at the weather because I'm like, I wonder how warm it's going to get. Actually, by 10 o'clock, the temperature is going to go down to 30 something, like 31, and then down to 30. And then by the evening, it's going to be in the 20s. So instead, it's going to the temperature is going to plummet. Um, which is gonna suck. We're headed out in trepidation, excitement. We just spoke to a fella who told us that uh, we should be hunting the holly trees and Merkel bushes. Merkel bushes. Merkel bushes, which are basically like a bayberry. I'm not sure um, what a Merkel bush is. So he said that's where they are. And uh, that's where we'll be. But uh, it's, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's blowing today. 
blowing a gale, but uh, maybe that'll be a, to our advantage. And the guy we just spoke to, he was like, I saw. Yeah. <laughs> I saw they, a whole herd. They're herded up now. I saw a spike. I and saw he saw two, two stags, two spikes, and ten hinds. But I don't know. He's got a special agenda for wants to see a really big one before he shoots, I guess. I don't know. But uh, we may have made a mistake and we should have just followed him. <laughs> I mean, it's been long enough that he didn't, that the gun didn't go off while he was climbing into his stand. Although you always think those sort of crazy things. But, well, I should stop being so. All right, I'll pick this up again if I get a, I shouldn't be getting a phone call, one would think. Uh, that had to be Andy. Had to be. It was definitely black powder, so. All right, I'm gonna shut you off. So that's the official communication. He shot, but he's not sure if he hit it or not. That's not good, but he's a pretty good shot. He doesn't miss that often, so. I'll just wait for confirmation. At least he got a shot. So now he's got to climb down. He's on, he's on one of those foolish slings. It'll take him probably 20 minutes. And so we'll see what happens. So at least he got a shot. But I have a... He doesn't miss that often, so... That'd be awesome. A, uh, <clears throat> a hind came in. Just slipped because it's windy right now. It's got to be blowing 25. Not sustained, but it's gusting and whatnot. So I just looked up and uh, saw it right over. Oh, let's see. Right over by this, these bushes here. Right up in here, I guess. And it, it ducked behind the bush. And I thought, oh good, it's coming this way. It's gonna follow this little water trail right into an open spot, perfect. No. <laughs> so, it cut across, leaving away from me. And then went over in this opening over here. Which just about that just about triples the distance. It went from like, all right, perfect, to like, go ahead, 
see if you can get me. <laughs> but uh, I took the shot and uh, it went click. And so I checked everything was good. They, she moved a little bit. I lined up again, click. <laughs> not one, not one cap have I had trouble with. And then today, when I need it the most, click two times. Sorry about that. I'm just putting a glove on. It's freezing. Uh, two times. Click. Thankfully, she stood there. But now she knew where I was. And then, by now, I'm going, what are the chances? <laughs> like, this isn't going to happen. And uh, third time's a charm, they say. <laughs> so, it went off the third time. And she ran off to back kind of from where she'd come. But uh, I don't know. I kind of expected her to explode right there, fall over and hooray. But no, it ran. But uh, people say they're tough. So I haven't got down because I don't know if I have another climb in me to get back up. So I figure I'll just stay. If she's dead, she's dead. She's not going anywhere. No one's going to take it. So, uh, I'm going to stay in the stand. I reloaded. Couldn't find any more caps. That was another good one. As I searched every pocket. I've been putting the caps back in my pocket when I'm done, and I had a handful in there. Couldn't find any. Finally found one. So I reloaded, and I am all set again uh, for, you know, because obviously another one will come in. Fingers crossed. <laughs> it happens all the time on the television, so why not? I've been watching these videos. Guys get double shots, see triples, whatever. So, why not me? All right. I'll give you updates when I go check things out when I get out of this tree. Or when I shoot the next one. <laughs> okay, I have gotten down out of the tree. Uh... I took a picture, this is something that important, I took a picture from the tree with my phone in the area where I thought that I the shot was, or I knew where the shot was, so I took a picture there. And then I've been sorting it out um, down here, trying to compare the two. And uh, finally, finally got an idea of where it was. It's much different when you get down. But um, I have found blood, so I'm all of a sudden where I was not that excited, am more excited now. So let me turn you around. And I don't know if you can hear it, but it is blowing a gale still. It is really, really blowing today. So it was uh, very difficult. This animal just was there all of a sudden. There was no noise, no nothing. Just presto was there. So um, it's difficult. I mean, with a little bit of wind, they are quiet, small and quiet. So, but uh, let's keep going and uh, see what we can find. I will um, come back to you when I find some more blood. Now, I have, I've never, um, hunted here before, well, the other time, but here's a little treat that they have here. If you look, see that? There's a moss that grows around here that is pink. So it looks like blood, but I've got more blood in front of me here. This is good. Whoops. This is uh, exciting. 
better than I thought for the last, uh, I don't know, two hours. I just stayed up the tree and just kept hunting because I thought, uh, why would you run away if you were um, shot? <laughs> why didn't you just fall down? So this is encouraging. But uh, still, still tough because it's so wet here. It's just water. And so where, where does blood go in water? It just disappears. I need a trained uh, shark, a little tiny shark that would swim around and find him. All right, I got more here down the log. Here. don't know where next, so I will get back to you. Probably the worst filming here, but again, tough area to track blood in. Absolutely ridiculous, but all right, I'm gonna try and get where it looks like it's gonna dry out a little bit here. So maybe things will be better in a second. I'll let you know. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah, yes! Uh, in case you're wondering, that means I got one and I found it. <laughs> oh, I did not have good hopes after, uh, after, <laughs> click, <laughs> click, but, oh, things are looking up. Oh, yes! Things are looking up. Boy, <laughs> dust off the old muzzle loader. I did not think this would happen. Oh, I have been sitting for two hours um, playing, uh, playing a game of Schrodinger's tree. As long as I stay in the tree, the deer was both dead and alive. But as soon as I got down and started looking around, that was it. Oh. So I stayed, froze and stayed, which here's a little trick for you. I took this uh, uh, headband here, you know, the covery thing, and I took and put those hot things in them that you stick on your clothes. Then you just put them right on your carotid arteries. <laughs> and boy, it sends some nice hot blood around, warms you up and saves you from, um, from not being able to sit any longer. So, uh, just a tip thrown in there on top of everything else. So we've stashed our stuff to go back to look for Andy's deer. And uh, I was just thinking, what if someone steals my sand and my stuff? Then I was like, I have an excuse to buy all new stuff. But all right, we're headed back. That's a, that's a um, pro hunting tip. If you don't like your old stuff, leave it somewhere if someone can steal it, and then you can tell your family members who people like, oh, you can't spend money, but I have to, it was stolen. All my stuff is stolen. <laughs> Andy got me here. We did a little, he wanted me to try and do the blood trail, which I will have to say the blood trail is almost impossible. <laughs> and now Andy, for the first time, is going up here to put hands on his. Da, 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 da. Seek a deer. <laughs> Gun. Where is it? Where is what? It's so small, I can barely see it here. I'll take the gun. You want to drag it out to the sun? What's he got? A leg shanker? Oh, he nibbled his leg off. He's well. He's been sitting here. I don't know. 
looks kind of healed. All right. Obviously, it's been a little bit. Oh, way out there, there's a nice sunny path. You can barely see his spots. No, see that nice white sunny path? You can see his spots. Is that a... Did it right? Yeah, uh, perfect shot. Right where I aimed. I mean, give or take. Uh, mm. Andy with his hind. Oh, hold on, let me shut down this. So we're making our way back. We got another quarter mile to go. It gets super swampy. So put away the cameras. And uh oh, oh. do celebrate. Yeah, that's for you. Do celebration. Do celebrate, not do celebration. <laughs> do, do celebration. Here's Andy doing a little in the woods skinning. It is literally like 12 well, I don't know what it is 20 degrees out it is cold it's below 32 because my pants are frozen solid but we can't really go back to the best western <laughs> to the whatever it is days in by Wyndham and be like hey can we skin this deer in your parking lot I'm so gonna rinse it off in the shower we're taking care of it here packing it up it's got a lot of fat on it huh mm. a lot of people have mentioned that who me no, on the um, no, on the interweb. interweb. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna continue getting everything ready for this while Andy keeps save the fat so we can grease the bottom of our sled so they'll go faster. That's what they do. We're back from Maryland, and Andy's cooking up some of this Sitka deer here, and we're gonna have our first taste of this uh, of the Sitka. Yeah, and we're gonna tell you what we think. And that, I guess, will be the conclusion of this video. <laughs> and he's just pan fried a little of the Sitka in butter. He's put a little salt on it. Boom. And he is going to tell us what he thinks. Bro, oh, don't shoot those. <laughs> Stay away from them. <laughs> I'll do all the shooting of those. That's good. Is it? That's really good. Mm. All right, so mm -hmm. not gamey, not livery like a lot of venison, but a little bit. I mean, it's a little gamey. It's obviously not beef, but very good. Mm. I have a big piece of meat. Well, special thanks to um, Ray, the, um, what was he? Was a federal officer yeah, at the uh, Blackwater um, National uh, Refuge. We talked to, he told us a whole bunch of stuff about uh, the deer in that area so thanks to him and thanks to the guy that we saw um a couple mornings ago who encouraged us to go in for the one more day and sit and told us don't worry they won't be in the marsh they'll be on the edge so that's where you want to look so special thanks to that guy too because he gave me that extra oomph to get up the tree one more time freeze my can off and go one more time and it paid off so it was a good trip and thanks to both of those gentlemen uh, if you uh, like this video, like and subscribe um, and watch some of our other videos. We do all kinds of fun stuff. Thank you very much.